So a dwarf planet doesn't have a precise astronomical definition. In fact, a planet has a very flimsy, precise astronomical definition. If a planet is orbiting an even bigger planet, is it really a planet or a moon? And if it's a moon, then what else is considered a moon? Is the sun a planet? And is everything around it a moon? So planets, moons, dwarf planets, they're outdated terminology, but we still use them because all our children have learned about them. And so we don't have a precise definition of what planet really means. But here's the problem. Pluto is smaller than every other planet. In fact, it's even smaller than our own moon. And so some people think it's fit to call it a dwarf planet because it also isn't just like that, but it also orbits another even bigger planet. But it doesn't orbit that planet like a moon. It orbits like a binary star system where they orbit around each other. So it can't quite be called a moon, but it's smaller than every planet. And so people have proposed to call it a dwarf planet instead. Now that's a totally subjective definition, which is why it was changed in 2006. It's just what we humans call it. But really there's nothing different between a dwarf planet and a planet except their size. No problem.